But also on top of this, one of the crazier features that came within iOS 15 is the fact that we can now use Safari extensions within Safari on our iPhone and our iPad. But right now we're talking about our iPhone. That is a crazy thing. Now, I have not been able to see exactly where those extensions are. I don't think there's too many because I think, you know, developers are going to have to support them. But if I go into my Safari settings in my settings app, let's see if there's a settings for extensions. And that so far, I don't see it. Like I mentioned, it may not be coming in this specific update, but it may be coming sooner than later. And I genuinely cannot wait until that comes out. And as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff right here. But sooner than later, that may actually... Oh, so right here, there is extensions. So as you can see, if I go and click on more extensions, let's go ahead and see which extensions are available. And it takes me straight to the App Store. And there are a bunch of you know extensions already. I was not expecting that. So now if I wanted to go back, I guess I have to click here every single time. I hope that's not the case. And as you can see, it says, you know, Safari extensions. I can go and click see all. And we already have a bunch of them. That's actually pretty impressive. And this was one of my favorite things about this specific thing. You know, you have ad block, even though that's crazy. So I cannot wait for us to go ahead and get, you know, some sort of more updates on the extension side. But those are essentially some of my favorite updates within iOS 15. Like I mentioned, you should.